What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here. We're about to find the volume of a frustum. What the frustum is that? It's that lampshade looking thing down there at the bottom. And basically what it is, is it's we're taking a big old cone and we're chopping the top off, which is why I have that all dashed in there. All right, so our overall formula for the volume of a frustum is I'm gonna find the volume of the big cone and I'm gonna subtract the volume of that small cone. Okay, so we're gonna keep that in mind. That means I need to find my volume of the big cone and the volume of the small cone. Well, what kind of information do we have here? I've got a radius of the big cone is 10 meters. The radius of the small cone is six meters. And I know that the distance between the two centers is eight meters. Okay, well, I need the height of both the big cone and the small cone in order to figure this thing out. I don't have either. How the heck am I gonna get that? Well, it looks to me that I actually have a triangle situation going on here, as well as going right across here. I can get myself similar triangles due to the fact that I have a right angle here. I got another right angle here, right? Those things are gonna have to be that way if it's gonna be a cone, okay? And then I've got, this angle is congruent to itself up here. So angle, angle similarity tells me these two triangles are similar. So I have six here, I've got eight here, I've got 10 here, and if I were to find this X here, that's the height of my small cone. It's also the height of the big cone when I add eight to it. So I'm in the money if I can get that, that dimension right there. So if I set up X divided by six, that's my height of that small triangle over its base, is equal to the height of the big triangle, which is X plus eight over its base. And when I cross multiply, I'll have 10X equals six X plus 48. I'm gonna subtract six X and get four X equals 48. So X is equal to 12. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. Pop a 12 right here. Oh baby, we good. We are all sorts of good. All right, now it's time to find the volume of our big cone and subtract our small cone from it. So the volume of my big cone, that's gonna be, let's see here, we've got our base, big B, right? That's gonna be 10 squared pi. That's because it's a circle. Multiply by my height, which is 12 plus eight, which is 20 divided by Three, so I've got 100 times 20, which is 2000 pi divided by three. Okay, I'm gonna leave that divided by three for now. I'm not gonna try and simplify things or get a decimal or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave that. Now I'm gonna find the volume of my small cone, which I changed to a green color, right? So the volume of that small cone is gonna be, let's see here, pi r squared, my big B, my area of my base is gonna be six squared pi times my height, which is 12, divided by three. Again, I'm gonna leave this over three for now. So that's gonna end up being 36, 36 times 12, that's gonna give me 432. Pi divided by three. So the reason why I'm leaving them over three, even though the one on the right can be simplified, but the one on the left can't, is because if I'm gonna subtract these two, if I'm gonna subtract these two to get my frustum volume, I'm gonna need a common denominator anyways. So I'm gonna have the 2000 pi, over three minus my 432 pi divided by three. And I'm gonna end up with a final answer of 1568, 1568 pi over three. And we got meters cubed. Woo what if you can divide that by three? Let's see, let's see if we can divide that by three. Nope, it's gonna be a repeating decimal. So. We dunzies. We dunzies. That's the frustum. That's what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed it. America Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco, Ruby Dog, Jenny on the Gram. Yo, Ro, you only round once if you are plugging into that calculator. You guys have an awesome day. Deuces.